Hi, I'm Alex Giannini. And I'm Cody DeGalorians, and we're the program managers of the Westport Library. And this is 10 Questions With, where we interview some of our favorite authors while they and we are all stuck at home. So these 10 questions are with author Alma Katsu. Say hi, Alma. Hi, hi, thank you so much for having me. Uh, so Alma is gonna be joining us. We're very excited. She's one of the authors that we're first announcing that will be joining us for September Story Fest 2020. We're like enormously excited about having her come. Uh, Alma is best known for The Hunger, a supernatural reimagining of the story of the Donner Party. And she recently released The Deep. Uh, which it takes a similar supernatural dive, pun intended, into the story of the Titanic. So welcome, Alma. Thank and, you so much for having me. And let's dive right <laughs> into the 10 questions. <laughs> so Alma, which, which project of yours should people grab while they're stuck at home? This one, this one right <laughs> here. <laughs> this is my latest book. I put a ton of work into it. Sorry, I can't think of a dive a sentence right now to use uh, with dive. But um, I really hope people, you know, if you like the Titanic and you're really in the mood for sort of a gothic, you know, slightly more romantic story than The Hunger, which was about the Donner Party, I hope you'll give it a, a read. So what uh, other book is your kind of go-to book right now, uh, other than The Deep? Oh, well, one book that I would encourage people to think about taking a look at, it's, it came out recently and it's a debut author. It's called A Witch in Time and that's by Constance Sayers. And it's one of those sort of time traveling supernatural books about a witch and a demon who were sort of bound together through a curse uh, through all eternity. And of course there's a love interest there and they have to sort of figure out um, you know, how to break the curse. If anybody out there has read my book, The Taker, it's a little bit like that. It has that sort of flavor. And I think if you're looking for a really romantic read with a lot of history, you won't be disappointed. So what's your go-to album right now? So this is one of my dirty little secrets. A long time ago, I was actually a music critic and my husband is a musician. I'm married to a working musician. You'd think I'd be listening, I'd stay up on music a little more, but I don't. So I'm gonna throw out something that some of your, your um, folks might laugh at. Uh, probably my most popular band right now is, is Band of Skulls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I think their most recent album came out last year. It was um, Love Is All You Love. So that would probably be it. But I actually don't listen to much music anymore. Mm. That sounds really cool, though. I'm going I'm to have to check that out. Uh, so what is your go-to movie or TV show right now? Mm, so that's tough also, because I'm trying to resist the TV and keep on track with working. Um, mm -hmm. We are loving this season of Better Call Saul. Well, I love every season of Better Call Saul. So that's one thing. And we just finished watching Kingdom, which is a Korean TV show about a zombie apocalypse historical one back in um, an earlier times. It was great. Um, so what is your go-to beverage, alcoholic or otherwise? Oh, I wish it were alcoholic. <laughs> I want to be one of those people that loves the little drinks with a lot of fruit sticking off it and the parasols and stuff, mm -hmm. but I never seem to get around to it. So mostly it's tea. Right now, I don't know if you can see this, I'm drinking tea in my White Star line a uh, mug. This is actually a reproduction mug of the third class um, China service. That is so cool. <laughs> That's very cool. So what is your go-to work from home outfit? Hmm. It's usually a sweater and an old pair of jeans. I'm resisting just even just staying in pajamas all day. What about you guys? Oh. No, no it's, I'd, same. it's honestly the same. same. It's the, <laughs> the, yeah, I put on a button shirt today for this. So, um, what, what's your, what, what place would you rather be right now than being stuck at home? No contest. Um, we're building a little cabin out in rural, rural West Virginia. It's up against a national forest. It's just set among mountains and trees. It's not built yet or I'd be talking to you from there. <laughs> I think I've seen that movie, Alma. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've been warned a lot, and I told Paul Tremblay we'd name the cabin after him. But um, oh, I'm just dying to get out there. It's so beautiful. What is your go-to time waster right now? That's tough, because I really try to be very efficient with time. 
Hmm. Probably daydreaming about that cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I might be daydreaming about that cabin too. <laughs> oh man, you would love it. You would love it. Um, so who, who's somebody you'd like me and Cody to do this, uh, the 10 questions with? Well, I hope you're going to do it with Josh Mailerman. I can't wait to see what he has to say. Is he on your list? He is on a list. Yep. Awesome. Oh, I'll be looking for that one. And then what is the kind of go-to nostalgia bomb that takes you to your happy place? Well, it's hard to find a happy place right now. I have to say it's probably seeing people's dog pictures <laughs> on Instagram and all. I'm a big dog person. I'm kind of surprised my two big dogs haven't run over here already to stick their faces in the camera. But seeing other people's dogs make, makes me really happy. That has been one of the unique challenges of working from home is trying to have Zoom meetings when dogs don't just jump on a screen. That's mm -hmm. been, I'm barricaded in my office right now to avoid that actually. If they were um, more productive coworkers, I would be more than happy to have her in the room with me, but. Mine was super interested in chasing a fly for two hours yesterday, so he was super productive. Um, and then I'm um, just uh, thank you so much for doing this. And, and just as kind of a wrap up, can you uh, uh, tell people how to find you online while we're all uh, just stuck at home uh, online? Well, I'd love it if they visited my website, which is my name, Almakatsu, and then books.com. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter just under my name, Almakatsu. Uh, I think I'm Almakatsu Books on Facebook but I've been trying to pump a lot out on Instagram. So please, please come visit me on Instagram. Well, Alma, thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. Um, if you wanna, first of all, make sure that you grab a copy of The Deep. Go read The Deep. Home. And uh, you can find this one and uh, other interviews in the 10 questions with at our website, at the Westport Library's website, which is westportlibrary.org. Thanks again, Alma, so much. And, uh, and keep dreaming of that cabin. <laughs> thank you guys. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thanks.